Welcome to TechLogix. In this video tutorial, we'll guide you through a detailed, step-by-step -step process to add the TP-Link Tapo C201 indoor pan and tilt camera to your Wi-Fi network. We will also cover setting up SD card storage and configuring the camera using the Tapo app, ensuring that your home security setup is both straightforward and effective. This process is designed to cater to everyone, from tech-savvy individuals to beginners, making it easy to secure your home. The Tapo C201 stands out with its sleek black design, delivering crystal-clear 1080p HD video. This high-definition clarity allows you to effectively monitor everything within view. Its advanced pan and tilt capabilities give you a 360 degrees horizontal and 114 degrees vertical range, providing full coverage of any room in your home. This feature ensures that no corner is left unchecked, making it ideal for both security and monitoring loved ones. Equipped with enhanced night vision that covers up to 40 feet, the Tapo C201 ensures continuous surveillance, giving you peace of mind day and night. The camera's motion detection instantly alerts your smartphone to any unusual activity, allowing for immediate response. Further enhancing its functionality, the two-way audio lets you communicate through the camera's built-in microphone and speaker, perfect for interacting with pets or issuing warnings to potential intruders. With the Tapo C201, you have access to ample local storage via microSD cards up to 512GB, providing a secure, cost-effective solution for footage retention. The Tapo app simplifies management by offering live streaming, easy settings adjustments, and remote monitoring capabilities. Privacy mode adds an extra layer of control, allowing you to disable recording when privacy is required, making the camera's operation customizable to your needs. Integrating effortlessly with Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa, the Tapo C201 allows for hands-free operation, further streamlining your home environment. The package includes everything necessary for an easy installation, a user manual, a drill template, a DC power adapter, and a camera fixing mount with screws. Watch our video as we take you step-by-step -step through the setup process, demonstrating how simple it is to elevate your home security effortlessly with the Tapo C201 camera. Memory Card Installation Before installing or removing the memory card, make sure the camera is completely powered off. This step is crucial to avoid any potential damage to the camera or the microSD card. The microSD card slot is located on the bottom of the camera, near the rotating lens. To access it, gently lift or tilt the camera lens upward to reveal the slot. Carefully insert the microSD card into the slot with the gold contacts facing downward and the notched edge aligned properly, as demonstrated in the video. Push the card gently until it fits securely into place you should feel it click or lock into position. The Tapo C201 supports microSD cards up to 512GB, providing ample storage space for extended recording periods, whether you're using continuous recording or motion-triggered recording modes. To remove or eject the memory card, press gently on the card until it pops out slightly, then pull it out carefully. Once the card is properly inserted, Power on the camera to automatically begin recording if your settings are configured for auto start. Always double check that the micro SD card is properly seated and fully inserted before powering on the device to prevent any data loss or recording errors. If you're using a larger capacity card, such as 512 gigabytes, you can expect to record up to two weeks of footage, depending on your video quality settings, frame rate, and whether the camera is set to continuous or motion activated recording. Regularly check the storage space and format the microSD card when needed to keep it functioning smoothly. Proper installation and maintenance ensure reliable footage storage and overall camera performance. Powering up the camera. To turn on the camera, first connect the included DC power adapter to the camera's power port. Plug the adapter into a stable power outlet. Once the camera is connected to power, it will automatically begin its startup process. During the startup sequence, you'll notice the camera's pan tilt, PT, lens rotating smoothly, which indicates that the camera is powering on and performing self-tests. At this stage, a solid red light will illuminate, showing that the device is in the booting process. This is a normal part of the initialization and typically lasts a few seconds. As the camera completes its startup routine, 
the indicator lights will change, the red and green LEDs will start flashing alternately. This flashing pattern signifies that the camera has successfully powered on, completed its self-calibration, and is now ready for setup and operation. At this point, you can proceed with connecting it to your Wi-Fi network and configuring the settings through the Tapo app. Download and install the Tapo app. To get started with your Tapo C201 camera, you'll need to download and install the Tapo app on your smartphone or tablet. Follow these steps for a smooth installation. Locate the QR code provided in the user manual that comes with your Tapo C201 camera. This QR code directs you to the Tapo app download page. Use your smartphone's camera or a dedicated QR code scanning app to scan the code. Once scanned, it should redirect you to the appropriate app store. If you prefer to download the app directly, open either the Google Play Store, for Android devices, or the Apple App Store, for iOS devices. In the search bar, type Tapo and look for the app developed by TP-Link. Tap on the app icon to open its page, and then click on the Install button. The installation process may take a few minutes, depending on your internet speed. Make sure you have a stable Wi-Fi or mobile data connection to ensure a quick download. Once you have installed the Tapo app, open it to begin the setup process. Upon launching, you'll be prompted to review the terms of use and privacy policy. Take a moment to read through these documents. After reviewing, simply tap the Continue option to accept the terms and proceed with setting up your Tapo devices. Create a TP-Link account. You can proceed by either logging in with your existing TP-Link ID or registering a new account. If you already have a TP-Link ID, simply enter your credentials to log in. If you're new to the service, click on Create a TP-Link ID to register for a new account. For this example, we'll choose Create a TP-Link ID to register. First, select your region according to your country. Then, enter the email address you wish to use for registration. Make sure it's a valid email, as you will need to verify it later in the process. Once you enter your email address, click Next to proceed to the next step, where you'll need to create a password for your account. Choose a strong password that meets the security criteria outlined on the screen, which may include a mix of upper and lower case letters, numbers, and special characters. After entering your desired password, click Sign Up to continue. You will then be asked to agree to the Privacy and Terms Agreement, review it and click Confirm to finalize the registration process. Shortly after, you should receive a verification email. Be sure to check your inbox and spam folder, if necessary, and follow the instructions in the email to confirm your registration and activate your account. Once the email is verified, click the Activated and Login option to navigate to the login page. Here, enter the email address and password you created during registration to log into the app. After logging in, you may be prompted to grant necessary permissions for the app to function fully. These permissions may include access to your camera, location, and notifications. Make sure to allow these permissions to ensure you can utilize all features of the Tapo app effectively. Now that the Tapo app is ready to use, you can easily add your camera by selecting the Add Device option. Camera Adding To begin adding your Tapo C201 camera, open the Tapo app on your smartphone. On the main screen, select the device type you want to add, usually labeled as device or add device. Navigate to the Tapo tab within the app. Before proceeding, ensure that Bluetooth and location services are enabled on your device, as these are necessary for the app to detect and connect to the camera quickly. You can check and activate these settings in your device's main settings menu. With these permissions enabled, tap on the indoor camera option. Then, select Tapo C201 from the list of detected devices to initiate the connection process. Follow any additional prompts to complete the setup. Camera Reset Before adding your camera, ensure it is in network connection mode. If not, press and hold the reset button on the camera for about 5 to 10 seconds. When reset successfully, the camera will show a blinking red and blue LED, indicating it's ready to be added to the Tapo app. Note, for the best Wi-Fi connection during setup, keep the camera near your router or modem. 
once connected and configured, you can move it to your preferred monitoring location. The blinking red and green LED confirms the camera is ready for Wi-Fi setup. After selecting the Tapo C201 option, tap the Next button to confirm that the camera's LED is flashing red and green. A pop-up screen will then appear, prompting you to connect to device. This indicates that your camera is broadcasting a temporary Wi-Fi network. To continue, select this network on your phone's Wi-Fi settings to establish a connection between your device and the camera. If you encounter a connection error with the temporary Wi-Fi, tap the Try Again button to retry connecting. Sometimes, network interference or signal issues may cause initial failures, retrying often resolves this and establishes the connection successfully. Once your phone is connected to the camera's temporary Wi-Fi network, the Tapo app will automatically redirect you to the home Wi-Fi setup screen. Here, you need to select your home Wi-Fi network from the list provided and enter its password. This allows the camera to connect to your main Wi-Fi network. The process to connect the camera to your home Wi-Fi typically takes a few minutes. When the camera successfully connects, the LED indicator will turn into a stable green light, confirming that the camera is online, connected, and ready for remote access via the Tapo app. Connecting to Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi connected. After successfully connecting your camera, you'll be prompted to enter a preferred device name and select its location. This helps you easily identify the camera within the app, especially if you have multiple devices. You can also choose an icon to represent your camera, making it even easier to spot in your device list. Once you've made these selections, tap the, the Next button to complete the setup and continue using your Tapo C201 camera. On the Complete page, Click Sounds Good to proceed and view the live feed from your camera. If you plan to mount the camera on the ceiling, select the Mount in the Wall option. This allows you to adjust or rotate the screen orientation to get the best viewing angle. You can also choose to invert the image, rotating it 180 degrees horizontally, which is useful for ceiling mounting. This adjustment can also be done later through the camera settings. When prompted about cloud storage, local storage, and firmware updates, you can choose to skip this step for now. This allows you to set up your Tapo C201 without configuring storage options immediately. You can always revisit these settings later through the app if you decide to enable cloud or local storage, or if you want to update your firmware. To access the live stream, tap the camera icon on the home screen. On your first visit, you may be prompted to configure the storage option. A screen might appear asking you to initialize the microSD card as part of the setup process. If this prompt doesn't appear, you can manually check the memory card status or initialize it through the camera settings to ensure it is ready for recording footage. Select the initialize option to format the microSD card you inserted. This step is essential because it prepares the card for recording, without formatting, the camera may not be able to save recordings properly. Once the setup is complete, your camera will be ready for use, with features like PTZ, pan, tilt, and zoom, control, allowing you to move and adjust the camera as needed. After configuring Wi-Fi and adding the camera to the app, you can mount the camera in its designated location. It will now be fully operational, offering live streaming, playback, and PTZ controls, accessible via mobile data or Wi-Fi from anywhere in the world. To finalize the initial setup, including setting the correct date and time, tap the settings icon on the camera's main page. Select Device Info to configure the date and time according to your location. You can also customize recording preferences by visiting the recording settings, where options related to SD card storage are available. For more detailed instructions, refer to the dedicated videos in this series, covering storage setup, event alerts, two-way audio, and other features. If you need further clarification, additional segments in this series provide in-depth explanations of these features.
If you found this video helpful, please support us by liking, sharing, or subscribing to our channel. Your support helps us create more content and provide valuable resources. Thank you for your support.